guys, it's painting time. And today I'm going to continue my Christmas theme painting tutorials by painting this Christmas gobbo from Malicious Miniatures. So let's get straight into it. After priming and zenithal, I'm going to come in with Joe Sanders olive green to paint all the skin. Don't worry about being neat here. If you get any on the white trim, just come back with white and paint over it. For the white trim, I'm going to first coat it with the siliconum grey contrast and then come back once that's dried with a white dry brush. As I haven't painted many of the other colours in, I can be as messy as I need to be, but when I get close to the skin, I will try and keep it neat. But if I do get any dry brush overspill on the skin, I'll just come back with olive green and repaint that. For the boots and belt, I'm going to come in with Black Templar Contrast and give it a full coat. The Christmas Gobbo's gift bag, I'm going to paint in Army Painters Pure Red. For the red coat, I'm going to come in with Flesh Terrors Red, contrast paint. As for my last video for Santa, I did paint it in pure red. This time I'm going to make it a darker coat and go for Flesh Terrors Red.
My first wash will be with Agrax Earthshade, and I'm going to wash all the red, the white, and black areas, making sure the wash is not pooling in any areas, and if it does, just wig it away with your brush. To wash the goblin skin, I'm going to use Citadel's Bethonian Camo Shade. I'm going to start highlighting the bag with pure red. I'm going to pick out all the raised folds and surface areas leaving the wash in the deepest recesses. I'm also going to use this pure red to start highlighting the red areas of his candy cane. For the extreme highlights, I'm going to use Inferno Orange and Pure Red mixed together 50-50 and paint in all the raised surfaces and edges, all the folds that I can find. To highlight the Christmas Goggles cloak, I'm going to paint it with 50-50 Flash Terrors Red and Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm going to paint in all the raised areas and flat surfaces that require some highlight. Leaving the original Flash Terrors Red and Black wash in the recesses. This took me about two coats to get solid color that I was happy with. For my final edge highlight, I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet from Citadel. This is just for all the edges and raised folds. For the skin, I'm going to come back with the original base color of olive green from Joe Sanchez and start the highlight process. I'm going to start highlighting all the raised areas, especially on his face, his nose, his uh, lips, fingers, and any exposed skin that requires a little bit of attention.
For the final highlight on the skin, I'm going to come in with olive green and beige, mix 50-50. I'm going to use this mix to paint all the sharper points and upper surfaces, making sure I don't get any in the other deeper recesses. To highlight all the black areas, I'm going to come in with model color, basalt grey and highlight the tops of the boots and any folds and edges of the belt. The final highlight for the black is going to be a mix 50-50 of basalt grey and grey seal from Citadel. This will just be to pick out the top folds and just a little line on the top of the boots just to highlight it. This is an awesome model, a cool little Christmas project that is very quick to paint up. Malicious Minis did an amazing job with this sculpt. I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave links to Malicious Minis, Patreon and My Mini Factory in the description below. Please like, subscribe and if there's anything you'd like me to cover, please leave it in the comments below and I will see you all in my next video.